So here is my alarm system. It's actually for a bicycle. It is a, uh, it's a vibration sensor that's uh, married up to a very inexpensive um, handy talkie amateur radio. So the concept is that uh, it detects a vibration and then it broadcasts an alarm um, across the uh, an amateur radio band which is then detected by another radio over here um, uh, as the receiver so I can then you know be alerted that somebody's messing with the bike. So the circuit itself consists of um, a piezoelectric element down here which has uh, been salvaged out of a smoke detector um, obviously the power supply section um, and a um, signal processing um, section which uh, is an op amp acting in comparator mode that uh, once it detects a, a signal um, it will then process that and output a signal to a microcontroller which is a uh, AT Tiny 85 which is down there and um, then that will then go ahead and activate a relay which then uh, presses a well uh, this radio has been hacked um, a button um, has been removed a service mount button has been removed and replaced with a patch cable so um, it essentially this will essentially push a button on this radio and this this Baofeng uh, UV5R radio um, has an alarm function so when you push and press and hold that button for a couple seconds it will then broadcast um, an alarm tone on a certain frequency so it's actually pretty useful everybody scratches their head wondering what to do with it but mm, I found a use so so that's the idea um, and so I'm gonna go ahead and demo this right now so we again we have uh, the vibration sensor right here we have sorry for the focus issue here the vibration sensor and then we have the transmitter right here and then we have the receiver over here so um, I think the uh, the alarm tone is set for about 20 seconds and then it should cancel itself so I'm gonna go ahead and fire this up here so we start with uh, turning on the the logic section and then turning on the relay programming um, dictates about a 10 second um, startup delay just to allow things to kind of settle out a little bit and then once things settle out a little bit they should be able to as very sensitive you can adjust the sensitivity with that potentiometer down here Go. And now it's broadcasting the alarm. We'll do that for about 20 seconds or so. Then it shuts it off. So now there's a couple other modes that actually we can we can operate in here. Um, interestingly, this radio, when it's in alarm mode, if it receives a transmission during the period of time when it's not transmitting, because it seems to transmit for a few seconds and then stop, and then transmit for a few seconds and stop, almost like as if it needs to listen. Well, during that listening period of time, if it receives a transmission on the same frequency, it then stops. Again, the sensitivity is pretty high here. So anyway, that's, that kind of feeds right into what we're going to do here. During this period of time when it's pausing, I can transmit and it stops it. But now the programming dictates that, just like that, when I pause it, it was still in a, in a loop there. And so I needed to uh, to cancel out of it a second time. So anyway, obviously a little bit of software required. I need to mount some switches. <laughs> it can be very annoying. Um, need to mount some switches and uh, and maybe make it a little bit easier to get to my 
sensitivity adjustment. It's very sensitive right now. And that's essentially it. So kind of useful. So that's it.